Talking with Howard Shelley is always a treat. He has such vast experience in the outdoors, filming for many years with Mort Neff. And uh, today, Howard, you brought some film with you on ruffed grouse and a magnificent <coughs> specimen here. Rough grouse like this, you're liable to see in the woods in this posture in the spring, right? Oh, well, very typical in the spring, May. Uh, and it's an ideal time to do good dog work, both on rough grouse and especially those that are interested in uh, uh, banding some woodcock in the spring, uh, working in the aspen, uh, in the typical brush areas is an ideal time to see them, and of course it's the perfect habitat for those birds. Well, let's go to your film, Howard, and learn a little bit about grouse and woodcock. Well, here's that scene of a rough grouse on a drumming log. And frequently in the spring, you may hear that strange noise. It sounds somewhat like a farmer's gasoline engine as it put put puts away. And then as you search around, you find tracks in the sand along a backwoods trail. You see the birds. And if you're quiet, you may be fortunate in getting a picture of them. But then, to go one step farther, let's look into the big north woods, where it's a very typical habitat area, and that rough grouse will return to the same log, the same spot on that log, and of course it's known as the drumming log, and that means uh, May, when he's trying to uh, find a mate, and at periods of about every four minutes, you'll hear that strange, prolonged drumming of the rough grouse. It only takes eight or 10 seconds each time. And somehow or other, he will find that female. A new family will soon be on its way. And then it was only shortly thereafter in searching through the woodlands when we come upon what we know now as Crazy Sam. I'm sure those that's interested in rough grouse have heard of the many, very many peculiar things that happens in the spring of the year. Somehow or other, frequently they're attracted to a strange noise or sound. And in this case, just our merely driving the car along the backwoods country trail attracted the rough grouse and he'd come out to the point where actually we were within six or eight or ten feet of him on many occasions. Not just once, but several times. Easy to get up close enough to get a good picture of him. And then finally, he would slowly disappear back into the bush. And again, during May, you'll hear that drumming noise repeated time and time and again. That means he's searching for and looking for a, a mate. And it's shortly after that, in searching through the backwoods, that we come across an old bent over pine stump. And down at the bottom, right beneath the edge of the ground, there is Mrs. Rough Grouse on the nest already eight or ten eggs in that nest. And within another three or four weeks, 23, 24, 25 days, we'll have a brand new family of baby rough grouse throughout the area. Now let's go along with our good friend Tom Project and that famous old English setter, Rock, and put on a demonstration as the, uh, he's searching for woodcock and grouse during the month of May on a little experimental project of banding the birds. Rock is one of the greatest. Well, Tom, of course, Rock is not alive anymore, his great gun dogs, but he does have other dogs now, and, you know, he's one of the top woodcock banders in the state oh, every yes. year. yes, yes. At one time, them. he banded over 400 in one spring and gained a national uh, recognition uh, for his work in banding uh, woodcock. And this is just part of the much research that's done in Michigan on wildlife. Right, right. Typically of Rock, he likes to mosey across that stream, but if you'll watch closely here in the shin tangle of uh, tag alders, uh, frequently he'll go on a point, and maybe Tom won't be able to get there in time, but Rock will do his utmost to hold that point. Now here you see he'd pointed a woodcock. Then the Mrs. Woodcock flew away before Tom actually got close enough to slap the net down and catch the bird. Now let's move into this area. Tom, uh, Rock is right on the centered trail of a woodcock. And a beautiful point. Seldom will you see anything quite like the next scene that you're going to see right here. Because Rock has that woodcock pinned down to the point. The bird is less than 10 or 11 inches from the end of Rock's nose. It's right on top of it. How about that? That takes restraint to train a dog that way that can. And then, of course, back. the bird goes fluttering away. Now nearby is an area where uh, Tom refers to it as the evening dancing uh, ground. On the way again, 
suddenly, a grouse right in front of him, and he can't resist the temptation to make another good point. We see the grouse moving slowly about. Rock gets a little bit closer, and the bird flies away. But this is where the woodcock put on their evening show for the females. They'll fly high in the sky, dart, and then almost dive straight down to the ground in such areas as this, which is real close to good woodcock cover. It's something that takes place every spring during the mating season of the woodcock. Well, the birds at that time of year are rather reckless, like Crazy Sam is. A little right. easier to get close to in the fall. It's a different story. A different story entirely. Howard Shelley's going to be back in just a minute with some tips on hunting rough grouse. There's another place you can get some good tips on hunting. This month happens to be a special deer issue. 